Meta has released a coding AI called Code Llama 70B, and in Meta's tests, it beats GPT-4 at variety of programming tasks. It is built on top of Llama 2 and is available in three models. Code Llama, the foundational code model, Code Python specialized for Python, and Code Llama, Instruct, which is fine-tuned for understanding natural language instructions. Being based on Llama 2 means that it has a larger context length. Coming to the license, it's free for research and commercial use. You do have to fill a form, and if you happen to have 700 million monthly active users, then you must request a license from Meta, which they may or may not grant. Developers are already getting good result by fine-tuning it. For example, SQL Coder is fine-tuned on Code Llama 70B model on less than 20,000 hand-curated prompt completion pairs. And they claim that it beats GPT-4 at SQL query generation. Here's another user who used Code Llama to write code and posted his process live on Twitter. I will give the link for both of these in the description. Now let's talk practical stuff. A Redditor has already deployed Code Llama in production and shared his tips. Moreover, the bloke GGUF has also been released. I will link these in the sources as well. The easiest way to try out Code Llama yourself is Hugging Face Chat. It is completely free. Here's a coding example in Rust posted on Twitter. Also, I tried a couple of examples in Python myself. I had it to generate code for ribbing carp algorithm, Fibonacci, and finally a program to merge MP3 files. It worked fine for Fibonacci, but with the MP3 merger, it gave me code as a numbered list. I modified the prompt to format as markdown and was able to generate properly formatted code. You can see the output on screen. I am planning to try this out for more serious programming tasks. At first glances, it does feel a strong alternative to paid GPT-4. Also, consider subscribing if you like AI news videos that get straight to the point.